Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We are in very powerful energy, um, great changes amongst us, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of sudden changes and um, we're in Check out my video on the 777 energy and the full moon and Capricorn energy to get a bigger overview of the energy that we are currently in. Today is July 7th and 2023 is a seven year cycle seven. Number seven in numerology is linked to spiritual awakening as well as epiphany, truth seeking. The mystical realm. So uh, let's get right into your reading, Libra, and see what comes through for you. This message is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Libra. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Okay. Check with your moon sign, your rising sign, or any of the other zodiac that may stand out for you, as we do have all 12 zodiac archetypes flowing through us and in our lives. So we start off with beauty. Libra, Venus energy, connected to Libra, the ruler of Libra. Beauty, being able to really tap in and uh, be mesmerized and... Um, absorbs in the beauty of life itself. You're really coming to a balance here. I feel like Libra, there's a big connection, spiritual connection that's just boom, propelled you um, into a, a new way of living. And now you are really honed in and focused solely in on what is value, your true core values, and no longer playing the, the, the game of the third dimensional matrix, the game that you had been operating in and, and maybe being, uh, it's all about our belief systems, our patterns, um, things that we were brought up to, our programming, a lot of that stuff is crumbling, it's coming apart. Responsibility at the bottom of the deck. So you're shifting your responsibilities from maybe uh, mundane life, um, you know, things that you thought were important are no longer um, even resonating for you. You're shifting your responsibility to truly um, engaging in the beauty of life itself, bringing yourself, your physical life, your emotional life, your spiritual uh, aspects into balance. This is what is truly of value to you at this point. Wow. Okay. So feeling really connected. I love it. You had a touch of grace. The divine has come in and um, is flowing grace through you and to you. And that is what, I, uh, overall, if I were to pick any word for all of these words, it is grace, divine intervention, possibly, or just deep realization. Why am I focused on this other stuff? It's not even important to me anymore. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about beauty for Libra, please. Wow. Wow. Oh, my. So seeing the beauty in um, everything, the duality of life, we have denial and forgiveness that came out together. So finally acknowledging your fears and 
instead of allowing the fears to control you, that is now your wisdom, your awareness, your insight. And this allows you to practice forgiveness, forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So anybody that has caused you pain, harm, this is allowing you to move from maybe blame or looking at them as um, being toxic or evil or any such way and instead seeing the beauty of the duality of life if it were not for this experience with this person I would not have been cracked open and awakened to a whole new perspective of myself and of life the beauty of life it would not be seeking or experiencing the life that I am at this point that forgiveness is such a key aspects because we are all each other's teachers and students. Patience. So as your life begins to come back into balance, it may not seem like it is fully in balance, but it starts with from within, bringing your energy into balance, your emotions into balance, your perspective into balance. Be patient with the process. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Beautiful. So you're allowing the energy to um, really work with you. You're working with the flow of energy, the river of life, so to speak, and allowing it to guide you, allowing it to help you heal from old past Wounds, traumas, fears. You're becoming more insightful on uh, what you may have been afraid of, which fear is also linked to anger. Um, we'll get deeper into that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and what is the most important thing here, Libra? Love. What is of value to you? Heart-centered connections, love, the, the greatest, the biggest, the most powerful energy there is that exists. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Beautiful. This is where you are um, making it a priority, a responsibility of yourself, for yourself. What's below that? Justice. Justice speaks of balance. And at the bottom of the deck, we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Woo! So you have completed a very rough cycle. Emotional, um, a lot of fear, a lot of pain, a lot to... Uh, not only go through, but then process. And it looks like you're coming out the other side. You're replacing fear that you prior in the past had had certain fears. You're replacing them with, I get it now. I understand. It, this is self-awareness. Um, and that's allowing this forgiveness. So beautiful, beautiful energy here. Every reading I've done so far, yesterday and today, has been very... Uh, it's it's really tapping into this this transformative energy. This is a powerful time. This is truly a powerful time. Our sun is in alignment in a conjunction with our sun's sun, the star Sirius. Mercury is in the mix too, so that is just mm, the most beautiful energy, <laughs> the most potent energy for great change, for truth, for awareness, for love what's truly important and of value. As the rest of the world stage seems to get more and more chaotic and bitter and restless, many of us are waking up out of our participation in all of that, realizing why we're here, what's important. Is it keeping up with the Joneses? Is it money? Is it status? No. Is it survival? 
Well, sure, we've all had to start off with survival instincts, and this is how we generated a lot of these fears and everything to begin with, but now understanding, like, there really isn't anything to fear except your own fear itself, which creates your own inner demons and darkness. This energy is gaining momentum as well. Accelerated motion. You are fast-tracking it into the next phase of your life, Libra. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep practicing that art of forgiveness. No longer placing blame on anyone or anything. Seeing the divine order in everything. Seeing oh, truth. Seeing the truth of all situations that you had once judged or criticized. This is also bringing things into balance. This is so, a lot of times we think, all right, I'm good. I completed the cycle. Then all of a sudden the divine's like, no, you have not seen this yet. And it's like, bam, <laughs> more realizations, more understandings. But this is really bringing us into balance. So we've got Pluto. I, I won't even get into the whole, all the, um, of the planetary aspects here but we've got the north and south node our past and future self and it's like this reverberation of energy vibration and it's like pulling and pushing and pulling pushing us forward pulling us back and we're like da -da 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 -da, and eventually we come to the center and it's like whoa whoa what kind of crazy game have i been operating in <laughs> the truth balance love it love it love it a lot of this clarity has really come through in the last week or two. How we have been suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. From the old stories we tell, from the old heartache and loss, carrying this baggage, carrying this heavy weight along with us, when all along, it's just asking us to open our heart, what is truly important. But it's also showing us our darker side. We've been shown the duality within us. And how we do have the ability, when we are hurt, we have the ability to fire back and hurt back. Even if it's just within, energetically, I wish something bad would happen to that person. Like it's, that in itself will cause karma, karmic retribution to, to you. So you're busting out of that. We balance again. Balance, balance, balance. Balance. Libra. Scales of balance. This is all about you. Beautiful. Ah, what's below that? Passion ignited and third eye chakra. Okay. Let's keep going here for Libra. So when we break free from our suffering, once we see it for why it had to, why we had to endure what we had to endure and, um, you know, what the divine is offering us now, which is heart centered connection, love and beauty, seeing the good in all things, the ability through the third eye, through the senses, through our experiences. We're breaking free from a lot of old pain, uh, our own internal suffering. And I will tell you, most humans are walking around the planet every single day in their own suffering to a pretty great percentage. And this is why we are so heavily medicated and desensitized to the truth of life, the beauty of life, our hearts and love. Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yep, reiterating exactly what I'm just saying here. Nine of Cups, the beauty, love, what is of value, Wheel of Fortune, cycles are shifting, turning towards this. What are we moving away from? Holding on to past pain, which has caused, um, it's stored in the body and it comes up in the memory field and it causes our thoughts to become dark. We become our own worst nightmare. We are lower than low of the conscious level, consciousness level. We're in the basement in our safety and security and we're gonna fight tooth and nail to make sure nobody hurts us. This is survival instincts only and we are ridding ourselves of that. 
that way of living of the suffering the suffering we create ourselves from yes there's always been initial pain and suffering that causes us to continue to carry that fear, that anger, that resentment, that pain with us. Waking up from the illusion that we are not in control of our life. Waking up from the illusion that... Um, we're stuck. We're stuck in the mud. We're, we're chained down in the mud and dirt. And the divine is coming down and saying, break free. The chains are loose. Time to get out. Make sure to fall in love with life. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. There's a lot of clarity coming in right now. A lot. Being able to see things from a much higher perspective. I feel like this is going to be a short reading, Libra. <laughs> That's beautiful. Death. Prince of Swords. Giant transformation. Death of the old. Rebirth of the true soul essence of yourself. And truly connecting to the beauty of life. And no longer walking around with the old story of pain and suffering and woe is me and everything's bad. We're finally um, learning to see um, things through new eyes and our heart. All right. Let us get some advice for you. We're not going to continue on because it seems very, we're going in a circle here. It's the same message over and over again. So Libra, if you are liking this video, which I would like, like I love this message. If you're liking this video and you're still here with me, please take the time to click that thumbs up like button underneath the video. It really, really, really helps a lot with getting the messages and into circulation helps with the algorithms on YouTube and feel free to comment I'd love to read all of your comments and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and one last thing Libra as I shuffle I am open again now for personal reading so if you're looking for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can book that through my website which is be the change 333.com the information is in the description box below this video and the readings are still on sale. So take it. The prices are already marked. Take advantage of the reduced prices now. I'm not sure when they are going to go back up, but whenever it is called for, it will. Uh, but right now they are at a discount. So let's get your advice, Libra. We have Awakening Genius and Tender Embrace. Tender Embrace speaks of really embracing yourself, giving yourself that self-love, self-compassion, Awakening Genius. I'll read them both from the book, but it's like there is this deep divine soul, this genius within you that is awakening, that has been awakened. We'll start with that one. The ancient Greeks believed that each person has a specific genius that acted like a spirit guide, inspiring you with new ideas to further your evolution as an individual, as well as the evolution of all humanity. You could say that genius is the spirit of creative expression, and when you are in tune to it, amazing things happen. When your genius awakens, you realize you do not have to do everything yourself. You have an inspired, dedicated, wise helper on your side. Today, can you imagine cultivating a playful relationship with this extraordinary spirit? If you can, you'll recognize that you don't have to solve every problem with only the knowledge, memories, and experiences you already have accrued. Your intellect, in this case, serves as a channel for this spirit of genius and it can filter in new information. How you forge this connection 
is to get out of your own way and simply allow it to work through you. The word genius comes from the Latin genere, meaning to bring forth or birth, and shares the same root as the, as the word generate. You are at this moment about to give birth to a new mode of expression and a powerful one at that. Commit to partnering with your genius and only deep satisfaction and success will result. Today is a day when your inspired ideas matter. Woo! <laughs> That's beautiful. And it is so true. A lot of inspiration. A lot of things waking up in, in all of us. So let's get to tender embrace for you. This is all about compassion and wasn't, oh no, that wasn't yours. <laughs> that was somebody else's, but you do have forgiveness. So put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply, inhaling a sense of gratitude. Now, how do you feel? Keep doing this, tuning into the world around you others you know, and even those you don't. Can you feel compassion for them? Compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking at a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. The questions to ask now are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve? And in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service to others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. Wow, I mean, this is probably one of the most uplifting and beautiful readings I have done thus far, Libra, and I am just so happy that you are going through this growth process, and uh, I hope that you found this helpful for you. I'm sending you all out so much love. Take care. Bye.